Okay, we're back here at BST Podcast at El Paso County Raceway at my Cathaway's Trade Show. And we're here with Daryl Taylor of the Colorado Vintage Oval Racers. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Joe. This is a great show. So uh, first off, you're reminding me back in the day when we raced together out at CNS. When was that, 92, 93? That was 1992. 1992, 93 season probably. And uh, we raced what, Grand American Modifieds? Grand American Modifieds, yes. Yeah. Nice. That nice. evolved out of the uh, IMCA and... Uh, big Country Modifieds. So uh, tell me a little about the vintage. I, I can honestly tell you guys, uh, first off, happy to have you at El Paso at this, your season championship or your last race of the year, which is September 26th. For the last five years, I can honestly tell you every year we get calls about you guys. So you guys have a following, like it or not. Yeah. And, and uh, I know that that's a good thing, so uh, I'm, I'm happy to have you. I know we tried uh, getting you out at Phillips County, but there was a conflict uh, with Pikes Peak. You guys are going to go to Pikes Peak that same weekend, mm -hmm. which is fine. Next year we'll get you out at both. Uh, but we're looking forward to having you out here. But uh, tell us about the divisions, how many cars come out, and uh, what, what it really consists of. Well, our uh, cars are basically preserved race cars uh, that have to be a minimum of 30 years old or represent cars that are 30 years old. We have vintage modifieds, and many of our cars are original lakeside cars, as is mine. Yeah. In fact, mine is the car I raced at Lakeside in the early 80s. We have vintage sprint cars, caged and uncaged. We have vintage midgets, and those cars will run anything from uh, V860s to Volkswagens to even a few Offenhausers. Again, they're caged and uncaged. And we have a fledgling class of vintage late models. Wow. So you guys are actually racing, too. A lot of people think you're just kind of out there tooling around. But, you, I, I mean, I've watched you guys out at my uncle's at I-76, <laughs> and I'm like, Man, these guys just ain't hot lapping, or they're just not tooling around. They're, they're getting it. No, we so. – we, it's a gentlemanly form of racing. We don't beat and bang, yeah. but we are putting the pedal to the metal. We do get out there and race. So uh, do the divi all of them run together? Do you break that up? Or? We break our cars up by division, and uh, we'll usually have six or eight of each division. Nice. And a total average car count coming to these shows, is it 10, 20? Average car count is probably 30 to 35 cars. Oh, wow. So there's uh, about uh, five to six cars in each division. Nice, nice. What's the oldest car and oldest driver? Our oldest driver is Joe Lehman, wow. champion from Inglewood <laughs> yeah. Speedway, yeah, who at 85 years old is still beating us. Still doing it, huh? And he's got his uh, original Inglewood uh, car. And he seriously is beating you guys? Yes, he is. <laughs> That's yes, awesome. Yes, he is. He can still drive circles around most of us. That's awesome. That's awesome. There's, there's hope for me yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come run with us. Well, um, I'm still thinking I'm all right. I'm not in, in quite in that <laughs> vintage. I know my hair says I'm vintage <laughs> like yours, but uh, I, I'm thinking I'm not vintage yet. But uh, one of these days, I'm sure I'm going to do it. You know who I'd like to see do it is my uncle. Get a, oh, for get, sure. Get old for Bush sure. out there. Uh, yep. We need to get one of his old race cars out there and get him doing this, have him you know, get back to having some fun. Because it looks like you guys are having just as much fun now as you were back in the day in reality. It's actually more fun because there less isn't stress. the pressure there. There less isn't stress, the intensity. <laughs> we're not running for points. We're not running for championships. We're out there to have fun and talk about how fast we used to be. Exactly. Yeah. We and still it, it, it's, it, it is an awesome, awesome event. I mean, uh, it's, it's all the fun of racing without the uh, weeks in the garage putting together a beat-up car. Right. Why don't you tell them a little bit before we go about your schedule, where you start, where you end, and uh, some of the places that you go. Um, we'll start our schedule this year at Intermountain Speedway in Cheyenne, Wyoming on the 5th of May. We'll go to Honor Speedway on the 12th of uh, June to Highway 92 Speedway in Gearing, Nebraska on the 27th of June. Back to Intermountain Speedway on the 5th of July, which is a Sunday night, and we'll be part of the King of the Wings asphalt sprint car series nice and we take our first uh trip to uh diamond speedway in vernal utah for the 17th and 18th of july i-76 speedway at your uncle's track on go. the uh first of august ppir well they've got their little quarter mile track built in the infield and will be part of the hot rod rotten rock and rumble show 
And we finish our season right here at El Paso County Speedway on the 26th of September. Awesome. And like I said, I'm looking forward to that. Now, aren't there some guys that just show up and actually display the cars and don't race them? So you got a little bit of a car show atmosphere as well as racing Yes, we them? do. We have a few people who, uh, who, for various reasons, don't take their car out on the track. We have some original lakeside cars that uh, are more for display. Uh, one of our cars is the old Johnny Pacello 19. Um, who has that uh, Sammy Swindell car, that, that Nance? Oh. Was it? Is that Harry's? Yes, yes, that, that's, that's Harry's. Harry's. Yeah. He's actually my neighbor. Is he? Yep, yep. Yeah. He's a neighbor of mine, and, and I didn't know if he owned that, but I seen that, mm -hmm. and that, that's a pretty neat old car. Yeah. There's some really nice, there's some true vintage classics. Is anybody there. running that car? That, yes. Does Harry run that yeah. car? When, how's yeah. he doing? He actually doing got, in, got in a wreck. Yes, he did. It was about a year ago, and these are real race cars. His throttle stuck, and he went into a concrete wall. I, I was I was Down telling him I said I said you're getting a little too old for this I said next time you want to run you better call me I'll, I'll, I'd get <laughs> I'd get in that Sammy Swindell sprint car yeah that's, I, that's I would definitely fun. do that so all right once again Daryl Taylor Colorado Vintage Oval Racers uh, they've got a great schedule and uh, their season championship will be out at El Paso on September 26th make sure you catch one of their shows if you at least don't catch ours but catch one of them somewhere but thanks for coming thank you Joe all right thank you sir.